Traders, good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are and located. Hope you guys are doing well in this market. It's been extremely volatile, which is where the opportunity lies, right? People don't understand that, that are not traders. You make money whether they go up or down. You can short, you can long. Uh, that's where the opportunity is in the volatility, and we are hunters of that volatility as day traders. Now, for those of you that are a huge fan of CMEG, as I have been, I've been trading with CMEG for nearly five years now at Trinidad, and they open shop up in the UK now. They're taking over everywhere. Um, I got you guys a solid, sweet deal. Now, when I started at Trinidad, I wasn't really affiliated with them, but I was helping so many clients. Uh, get onboarded over there and so I had talked to them talked to their team and like hey can I get my guys some kind of a deal that are going over to C Mag and they said yeah sure so we got 25% off of the commissions uh, now at the UK now had the same conversation with them love the guys they're all great there and they said yeah let's do something else 25% off of your platform fees so everybody that visits my page from this video to start an application over at C Mag UK you're going to be able to uh, get 25% off of your platform cost, which actually is $50 a month. Everyone who signs up on this form will get $50 off their platform cost per month, whether that is DOS or Sterling. Now that's $600 a year. And if you're anything like me, I like to save money and live better, as Walmart would say. So let's get into a little FAQ video on CMAG UK because there's not a lot of content out there and I really want to go over this just so you guys are familiar. Uh, with the UK it's very similar to Trinidad honestly it's a mirrored version of it and you guys have been very familiar with Trinidad now I help thousands of people over to Trinidad and really the only negative feedback I ever heard about it was that they were just a little cautious about sending their money to an offshore broker is it protected that sort of thing well guess what this is a mirrored version of Trinidad other than your money is protected uh, FSCS protection. I'll go over that right now if we go to the FAQs. Now, just keep this in mind. You want to visit this URL, uh, the cmeliteGroup.co.uk. The Trinidad, like I said, is basically the same thing, except here it is, cmeliteGroup.com. Uh, here we go. You see the URLs? They're very alike, so don't confuse these. Now, the FAQs down here, where is Capital Markets Elite Group located? So once you're funding your account, guys, make sure you are sending it to the correct address. A lot of scams out there. I want to make sure you guys are taken care of. Uh, if you guys have any questions, need any help, I have a million videos out there uh, from the previous CMAG, and a lot of them are still going to apply to this one as well. I'm going to put a lot of those links in the description below. Uh, as far as DOS Trader, how to utilize it, how to find and locate shorts, you know, we're still using that third party software. Essentially, everything's the same, except your money's protected. They're regulated by the FCA. Are my funds secure? They are. Clients of the firm may have ability to access the UK Financial Services Compensation Scheme, FSCS, and you're covered up to £85,000. So this is really neat. All client money is held separately from the firm's own funds and protected in segregated trust accounts uh, held with Tier 1 custodians. That's amazing. Again, this is a mirrored version. They do have their own proprietary software and platform called Capital. I'm going to do another video on that, but essentially what that is is how you know how TD has Thinkorswim or uh, Interactive Brokers has Trader Workstation and now CMEG's going to have their capital. But again, every broker out there essentially uses Sterling Trader Pro, DOS Trader Pro. These are third-party softwares that brokers license and they're going to cost anywhere from $100 to $200 a month. You guys are well aware of that. Uh, but I've used DOS Trader Pro for years and I, I don't I have no reason why I would switch off of it. For active day traders, Sterling and DOS Trader Pro are are the best of the best, and that's why you pay for them as active day traders because they really are. They they got the best market book. It's direct access software. That's what DOS stands for. So you're cutting the middleman out. You're hitting straight to the ask or bid prices. Uh, they're just fantastic. I've always used those lightning fast speeds. Let's go through the FAQs. I just want to help answer all your questions. Uh, if you guys have any further questions, let me know in the comment section below or email me. Uh, always helping you guys out and always happy to assist you, whether that's with the, the software, the platform, getting set up. Maybe you won't DOS on your MacBook. I got videos on that as well. And this is going to be a little bit longer of a video, but I just want to address as many questions uh, as possible. Just getting familiar with CMEG UK. Uh, they do not file taxes to the IRS on behalf of their clients. 
I got a video on this as well as far as doing taxes with CMAG uh, as far as using TurboTax goes. Now I'm not a tax person, not a tax accountant, not a tax advisor, not a tax, uh, I'm not a tax anything. You know, I gotta say that. So don't sue me. But I did talk to somebody who is into that stuff and that's why how I created that video that has got a lot of hits. Alright, opening an account. I'm not from the UK, can I use your services? You can, as long as it's not in violation of your jurisdiction's regulations or UK regulations. Now if you guys click on my application link so you can get the $50 off per month on platform fees and you go down to the, your country of residence, these are the countries that are in the correct jurisdiction for opening a CMAG UK account. Let me see if I can pull this up a little bit. All the way to United Kingdom of Great Britain in Northern Ireland. But what if I'm a US person? Can I sign up for an account? Uh, you cannot trade using CMAG UK right now. Uh, just for the record, for traders that are in the US or Canada, Belgium, that you cannot apply for CMAG UK, but we have exciting news. You're, there's gonna be other options. Very soon I'm gonna do videos on, and I'm sure that we're gonna get you a good deal. So keep an eye out for that on the channel. Uh, what do I need to open an account? You need a valid form of government issued photo identification and proof of address. When I applied way back when to Trinidad, they actually required a couple forms of ID and a couple forms of basically everything. And they were actually requesting for six months of bank statements as well. I got a lot of questions on whether that was normal or not. It was, but it looks like this is more simplified. If you guys do get those questions though, uh, it, that is normal. What can I use as proof of ID? Anything, driver's license, passport, photo identification card, state photo identification card. Once you've completed the application process, now it looks like this is going much faster than Trinidad. Application generally takes one to two business days versus it was like a week. So once you get approved and it takes that one to two business days, what, what's going to happen is they're going to email you confirming uh, or denying, who knows, confirming that you, you, know, you have account approval confirmation and they're going to provide you with that username and password. So just keep an eye on your email for that. Uh, your account activation email notification contains the link to download the platform uh, for you know whichever one you applied for. Free demo, yeah, you can you can get a free demo for anything. Sterling, DOS, you can get a demo. Uh, I think Sterling is seven day demo. DOS is uh, two weeks. And when you get approved, they're going to provide you with a portal, secure client portal. Um, where basically you're gonna be able to get your withdrawal documents, deposit documents, you're gonna be able to set up that bank transfer. Uh, all that information is gonna be listed in this portal. Once you get approved, they're gonna send that over to you. You wired funds, just understand it takes a little bit of time. International wires for, for sure can take 35 business days. Now, the, what had happened when we were at Trinidad was they would take a few days sometimes, especially because the funds would be going through an intermediary bank which was Wells Fargo, and that can that can take just a couple days. So be patient with that. Minimum for opening an account, the minimum is $500, and then include a little bit more just because of the outgoing wire fee. There's no incoming wire fee, uh, but there is an outgoing from your bank. Now, I'm at Wells Fargo, and when I would fund my account, I think they had like a $60 outgoing wire fee or something crazy. Either 45 or 60, it might be 60 now. It might even be more than that. Uh, so make sure you account for that. Um, really, when you're funding an active day trading account uh, to accommodate your platform fees and your commission and these outgoing wire fees, uh, you know, f give yourself give yourself some wiggle room. Uh, please don't fund just a $500 account, especially because if you're an active day trader, you want to give yourself enough room to make sure you have that leverage that four to one leverage, you're, you may get auto liquidated because you're no longer using able to use leverage, right? We're, we'll get more into detail on that. Where does the money from my wire transfer have to come from? Your personal account. Uh, it's funny that they even have to have this. You know, you can't fund it with a credit card. Uh, I, I'm sure some people have tried. That's probably why they have it here. Please don't fund your account with a credit card. Oh Lord. Where is it being sent to? Your money goes directly into your trading account. Now, I would suggest this. I did it with Wells Fargo. That in the memo section, it's just optional. But I would suggest putting in your account number there, just so there's no confusion. Because we were talking about leverage, I wanted to go ahead and just hop over here and, and uh, confirm this. You get up to four to one leverage. Minimum initial deposit five hundred dollars. 
And again, you know, with the active day training, get lightning fast execution, hot key, hot buttons. I got videos on all that. Obviously, short locates, hard to borrow stocks, multiple routes. Uh, so you do get the four to one leverage, but again, make sure you fund enough money in here to offset those fees because you do not want to get you don't want to be just borderline $500 in your account. There are a lot of hiccups to be had when you are hovering just right around that $500. For instance, in my experience with the guys I've helped over time, you start trading a little emotionally, right? You're you're trying you're kind of trading based on your account size versus just trading your setup, your edge. When you go into a trade and you're having to think about is this going to affect my bottom line in my account, that increases your emotions and hence affects the trade you're like okay actually i need to make this amount of money on this trade because of my account or i can't lose x amount of money because of my account okay let's just skip on down here uh inactivity you guys don't have to worry about that With like five trades or less than a month you'll get 15 dollar fee uh, charge for margin calls yes accounts that fail to remain in compliance with capital markets elite group margin policies will be liquidated and incur a 25 dollar margin call fee so again, there's another reason why you do not want to end up getting auto liquidated because you're going to get a margin call and a margin call fee. So avoid that. So what is a margin warning? This is something we can go over. It's sent by the broker when a trader exceeds their overnight buying power. You will need to rectify this by closing out some of your open positions or depositing funds. Again, you, you want to keep an eye on your, on your buying power, your BP. On DOS, there was a section where you could throw up your BP just to keep an eye on it because you don't want to be using or borrowing more money than you have. Uh, if you have an emergency, you know they have a few different uh, phone numbers to call here. In the five years I've traded, I think I had one emergency. And trust me, you want to be able to call them if you're in an emergency. You guys know as, as much as I do, when you're using these third-party softwares, sometimes there are problems that, that happen. I mean, they're very rare. But you guys have probably seen on Twitter or in certain chat rooms where certain platforms are really, really laggy or you're unable to get out of a trade because it's so laggy, things like that. And, and at that point, it's like, okay, call, get me out. You just want to make sure you have that number on standby. All right, trading stocks, what is the leverage? Well, here we go. Available leverage is based on the account balance at the start of the trading day. So over $2,500, you guys are going to get 4 to 1 leverage, meaning you're going to have $10,000 worth of buying power if you have a $2,500 account. Uh, that, that's what I would recommend. You know, And in this instance, if you're trying to put in the least amount possible, I would still at least go $3,500 to $4,000, just so you don't have to be so apprehensive with your trading. You have some flexibility. You got a little bit of wiggle room. Uh, I think the system liquidated my position. If your account falls below $2,500, your leverage will be removed and account will be converted to cash only trading. Their platform capital, we're going to do another video on that. Using DOS Trader Pro, can I install it on a Mac? Uh, it's intended for Windows. I have a video on how to get it going on a Mac. You guys can watch that. I'll put it in the description below. Uh, basically, everything on DOS, Sterling, all of this, I have. Uh, other videos on that. How do I reopen my account? If closure of the accounts happens within six months of it being open, you can submit your request to client services team. Within a six month time frame, you can reopen it and everything will be fine and dandy there. That is basically the run through of the FAQs. Now, I know you guys are going to have some questions as well. L let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to address uh, as many as I can or email me, everydaytrading at gmail. Dot com and I know this video was long drawn out and boring but I just want to make sure I go over everything uh, for you traders so again questions leave them in the comment section below if you don't mind and you're still for some reason at this video watching it at this present time please hit the like button and hit the subscribe button you guys are, are the real deal the everyday trading subscribers that are here to stay I love you guys and happy trading